Okay, hello, welcome back to our live stream. Here we are at the Prelude Beach, and it, it's not a live stream, I'm sorry, it's not a live stream. I meant to say recording. I was trying to live stream, but it just, it wasn't working. Mercy, what a wide, what a treasure this wide open land is. I'm glad I followed my family out here and got to see it. I doubt it'll stay quiet and empty for long. Yeah, like I said, um, I apologize um, about my live stream not working. It's just, I don't know. That's just not working, I guess. But oh well. I'm, I'm done stressing over it. I'm just gonna... Do a regular live stream. He's looking for a bigger one. Okay. Keep calling it a live stream. I'll be back live streaming soon. The cleaning never stops around here. Oh, you're the boy from the Survey Corps, aren't you? Thank goodness you came along. Could I ask you to fetch a plant for me? I need to use it to make some medicine. The plant I'm after has three leaves and a taste bitter enough to make you dizzy. Fortunately, I don't know where it grows. Try asking Annis from the medical corps. She'll be able to point you in the right direction. Ask Anis about the materials needed for the medicine. Okay. Hey, sport, you interested in some target practice? All you gotta do is lob some balls and try to pop some balloons. Easy peasy, fun and breezy. Even got fine prizes lined up to give out, depending on how well you do. If you manage to break 10,000 points, you'll be in for a real treat, I'll tell you that. If you're up to the challenge, just let me know. Usually found in the practice field. Alright. Aim a get a score of 10,000. Alright, well, let's talk to Commander Commodo first. Oh yeah, I need a frickin' satchel. Man, this board's gonna annoy me if I don't frickin' do it. Peculiar ponyta. Krogunk's curative poison. It seems that Pestle, the captain of the medical corps, intends to make some medicine using Krogunk's poison. There are no other requests. I love how Oshawott is just chilling there. I would use an Ashwat on my team, but he's with, like level 50. So, yeah, he'd kind of just not listen to me. I commend you on your successful research at the Pokemon living in the prison Marlands. Your next orders are to begin to survey the Cobalt Coastlands. I will let you know in advance there are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Now we've had reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island Lord used to call his home. We have also received word from both the security corps and the supply corps. It seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost while gathering out mysterious around Fire Spit Island. There are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate this desecration of our late lord's seat. Normally, I didn't trust this into the warden in our course lands, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. The Lordless Island. I'll meet you in the Colbat Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this is must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry, Sean Bond. Think nothing of it, Sean Bond. 93 is a talented and hard-working member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure he'll show things out. Indeed, Sean Bond 93 called the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both his strength and his kindness firsthand. <laughs> well, well, guys, thank you very much. The next area you'll... 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm tired. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It is farther afield than the Crimson Milelands, much farther, and the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission, investigate Fire Spit Island. Let's get out of here. Oh, there's stuff even down here. There's a downstairs? The aroma of the herb. I remember the herb. That nostalgic and unmistakable fragrance. If only I could smell it again. I wonder if the herbs from my home region can be found here in the Hisui as well. Oh, you're not you're part of the survey corps, right? Maybe you've seen what I'm looking for. It's an herb that looks like a bluish vine. I've heard it clings to a specific Pokemon. Please let me know if you need you manage to catch a Pokemon that has herbs that look like blue vines hanging off it. Um did I? Is it this one? Just look at it, it's a solid lump of vines. And this aroma, this scent, I remember. Yes, these are the herbs from my home. I didn't expect the Pokemon to be so absolutely covered in herbs. I mean, vines. And are the vines moving? I wonder what the Pokemon itself looks like under all those. Anyway, thank you for finding it. I love how Tangela just has shoes. Don't worry, I'm only going to take a little bit of your mind to use as herbs. Oh, I have an idea. If I lived with a Pokemon like you, I'd be able to enjoy this aroma every day. So did she just take my Tangela? I mean, probably. I'm fine with catching more. Alright, let's go over this way. Oh, I'm going to sell some stuff. Hitting a Pokemon may stun it. Hmm. Alright, we got some shmoney. Raises the effort level. Hmm. If I sell all these, I'll get some money. I know I probably shouldn't sell all these, but I don't care. I don't care. I'm gonna sell them anyways. I need room. For other stuff. Oh, I should get my hair cut. Hey there, you in for the mood for a hairstyle change? Great, come on inside. Grab yourself a seat. Alrighty. So, what'll it be? Ooh, messy ponytail. That's kind of cool. I don't know about that one. Middle part, that's for nerds. That's swag. Ooh. Kind of like that one. Oh, that's actually cool, too. Hmm. I think we're going to go with... Wait, no. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go with the curl. Kind of 
Gotta have that trainer red thing. All right. This is a big cha style change. Are you really okay with this? You got it. Here goes nothing. Oh, now we have matching red hair. Nice. And we're done. Not a bad look. It's all right. Hmm. Yeah, I'll wear it. I'll wear the hat. I look like a little girl. I'm the prettiest girl in all the land. Drop by again anytime you're here. I'll keep polishing my skills. Eh. I liked it before. Just whatever. We'll get used to it. Now who's stopping me? Ah, oh, if it isn't Shambon 93. Though I suppose it's to be expected where I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Going to the Cobalt Coastlands. Oh, the Cobalt Coastlands. Pelene is certainly in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden yet. Yeah. So it's no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice, then, as an apology for t wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious power. The right stones can even evolve some Pokemon. You need to look no further than Cleaver for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about the Pokemon of this room, then the stones you find throughout Hisui so will be very important. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation, the very same power as Almatis Sinnoh used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important the stones can be. To help grind this fact into you, here, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. Two grip pebbles. Ooh. Okay, we got grip gravel. A mysterious gravel that can raise the effort level of for one for Pokemon stats. Can only be used if the, if the effort level is at least three and no greater than five. All right. And you should want some stones that help Pokemon evolve. I believe Ginkgo Guild has them from time to time. All right. Let's put some items away. Let's move. I don't know. Let's move the these. I don't know. We'll move this and this and this and this and these. And then we'll be, and then we'll go. Headed outside the village. Yes, I am. Let's go to the beachside camp. Oh my goodness! Wow! Look how beautiful it is here. Look at that, it's a pincer. Nah, it's not. Hopefully I can surf soon. Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands. Assembly lovely corner of Hisui. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types or flying types, perhaps? Ooh, I can't, I can't wait to study them all. No, I'm sure you're just excite as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you have a mission to accomplish. So, any questions? Any questions? About Fire Spit Island. Hmm, indeed. Fire Spit Island is an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross the sea to reach it. I'd advise you to speak to a fellow called Erskan. 
He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens. He'll surely help your way. He'll surely help you find your way. Excuse me. Alrighty, let's go to the coastland. Who are you? You know Glamia? One of those skittish Pokemon that runs away from humans real quick? If you want to catch a Pokemon like that, Smoke Bombs and Stealth Sprays are your hand, our friends. They'll help you hide from keen eyes and even ears of the scariest wild Pokemon. Well, that's good to know. Well, hello, miss. Ooh, she's playing some tunes. Let's go. I do love the flute. Feels as if it's a, as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here, and so are you. So I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. I'm game. Very good. You, s you who have seen the vast space beyond the rift, here I come. Let's go. Oh, a Glaceon. Yeah, I changed my starter since the last time we fought. Wait, she has two Pokemon? That's not fair. Kill that one first. Is that like just a wild Eevee or what is that? There's no choice but to win. Oh, I wanted it. Take this. Get clapped. I can see that here. Dang. Stop using ice cream. Ha. Go, Primplup. Use your aerial ace. Quick style, if you would. And now we'll do a heavy style water pull. Bam. Oh, no, not quick attack. Primplup, no! Oh, no, I can't believe you defeated him. Go, Kulava! Now use Ember. Battle decided. Let's go. Ah, uh, now I feel better. The world is vast and I'm small within it. Thank you, allow me to heal your Pokemon. Thank you, yeah, you just kind of relentlessly owned me. All right, with you, I think something. I don't know what I said. I can't afford to look weak in the in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander, but in truth, sometimes I wonder how I've ended up with all the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Paulina. She tends to no lord or lady. She will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthy it is to be a warden at all. But Lena, that is to say, Paulina, she is very dear to me. No matter what anyone might say, we were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know of anyone I trust more of to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleavor's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading up to the ridge. Alright, lady.
Oh, there's the Glamia there, Sam. Bam. Let's go. We got one. Don't worry, kitty. There's nothing. Don't worry, kitty. Alright, let's go over here. Give me them beans. Oh, there's a mask. Period over there. Let's go. I kind of want to go back and catch that one Snorlax. Oh, it's Mothim, not Muscarian. Wow, I just got the Pokemon wrong. I'm a disgrace. You better get the item. Alright, let's battle. Take this, you bug. Strong style. Aerial Ace. Take him out. Alright, Tangla. You're gonna get it. Strong style Aerial Ace. What is that Star Raptor doing? That flying animation is so bad. Like, I'm sorry, but. I have just the thing for you flying types. Go, Graveler. <laughs> Roost, you fool, your HP is full, why would you do that? He's trying to mock me. Use a strong style rock slide graveler. Let's show this bird who's boss. Take that. Alright, now we can evolve. Evolve our Paris. That was evolving right there in front of my eyes. Aerial Ace. <laughs> well, that's not very effective. Now use Rock Slide. Mm, yeah, take that. Take all those rocks. Alright, now I'm gonna pick up these. Ooh. Is that Pachirisu? Now it's fuel.
Oh, I can evolve two Pokemon. No, don't roll away. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Let's go. All right, I'm going to evolve my my mons. Paris, I'm ready for you to evolve, my friend. Time for your body to be full, fully taken over. Congratulations, your Paris evolved to into a Parasect. It has lost all its sanity. Nastaravia is ready to evolve. Let's go. Yay! Staraptor got the idea for a new move. Nice, I'm so glad I have a freaking star after now. I'm gonna catch him. Alright, just stay in the ball, buddy. Alpha there. Dang, my aim is spot on. Alright, I'm all out of Pokeballs though. Weasel, you know what to do. All right, um, hmm. is there a base camp back here? I guess we got my mons. All right, um, yeah, I want to. I want to see my Pokemon. Let's bring a Rhyhorn. Does it say if they're big? Um, I'm sorry, Straptor, but... I'm gonna evolve these guys right now. Hmm. Hmm. Kinda wanna put Scyther on my team. Uh, 
All right, let's craft some more Pokeballs. Leaden Ball. All right, well, let's try it. These balls produce a loud noise and scare off weak Pokemon in the area. Night time. All right, let's. Oh, we're supposed to go that way. Now he can evolve too. Dang, I'm just evolving everyone right now. Alright, we got a floatsel. Oh yeah. There we go. He's looking good. Oh, uh, now we get freaking epic mon. Empoleon. Oh, yes. Yeah. Let's go M Pen. Alright, now. I know Empoleon was like one of my best Pokemon, but I'm. I'm going to put some more Pokemon on the team, just so I can uh, get a little bit closer to completing my decks, you know. You know how it is, right guys? Um, yeah, let's put Ghastly on our team. And then a Buneary. Alright, Quilava and Graveler, you guys are going to have to freaking carry us. Good job, Ghastly. Feels are super easy to catch, so I'm catching like a lot of them. Oh, that one escaped. Interesting. Should I try to fight the Scorpy? Or whatever that is? Go, Graveler. Take that! Huh? 
That was easy. Graveler, thanks for carrying me on your back. Oh, it's a Machop. Oh, there's a Machoke over there. Space-time distortion. Alright, let's see if I can make some more... Pokeballs yet. I can only make two. That's all I need. Oh, and there's Murkrow's over here too. Should I fight the Machoke? Probably not. I'm gonna go with probably not. I could fight it. Anyways. Um, let's see. <laughs> this ain't gonna work. Why is he so ripped? Can't see me right. Come on, stay in there. Oh. <laughs> Did not work. Does it even do anything to me? Does this even do anything? <laughs> uh, no! I give up. The heck, Murkra. Uh, I guess you roll out. Come on, Quill. Good job. Please don't hurt me. Roll out. Strong style. Oh, you got owned. Gar -gar -gar. Keep rolling it out. Go, everybody gets a level up. Or some little punk. Use Ember. Good job. Rock smash. 
What do you think I am, a rock? <laughs> I'm a freaking porcupine. I think, I think that's what's in the bar. Oh wow, he's level 34. Let's run away. Let's run away again. Oh, there's a piece of wood. I don't have satchel space. Oh my gosh, and there's a big artillery over there too. How am I supposed to get up there? I'm fucking poisoned. How do I get out of here? I thought I had an antidote. Do I not have one? I guess I'll die. Get out of here. So it's supposed to go up that way, okay. Could have told me that. Give me my materials. Ooh, there's a distortion over there. I'm gonna go check that out. Right after I deposit some items. man. Hello, Floatals. Okay, hello, Apom. I'm going to catch you. Can't get away from me. Hello there, ladies, lady. Excuse me, have you seen a fellow from the construction corps named Yorick? God, this is hopeless. Where could he have gone? Would you mind helping me track him down? We'll be having 
I'll be waiting a little further ahead. Please come see me when you have a moment. All right. Let's go enter the space-time continuum. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, there's a fucking Mr. Mon there. <laughs> no, don't headbutt me. Oh my gosh. Critical head. Critical head, no. <laughs> All right, Graveler. Let's use Rock Slide, strong style. You can take this, right, Mr. Ron? Mr. Mine? Oh, he can't. He cannot. He cannot. What? Let's go, we got a Mr. Farm. Oh my gosh. That's a frickin' Magnemite. There's too many Pokemon in here. Go, Magneton. There's a Rhyperior? Oh my gosh. Uh, I feel like this is not a great place for me. If I can get a Magnemite, I'll be happy. <laughs> oh boy. What are these shard things? Get out of here. Oh, and there's a Kadabra. Oh man. That was crazy. I didn't know what to do. Okay, let's... Let's go this way. Oh, there's a little chat odd thing. No, don't run. Don't run away. Hmm. Okay, I definitely need to go back. The space time crap is no joke, dude. All 
Alright, let's see what's in here. Seems as though nobody's home. I'm home. I'm home right now. Come on, weird ear. Now, where's my base camp? Because I need to rest up. I could use a rest. Just a little while. Now let's put some more stuff in storage. Ooh, we got a thunderstorm. A thunderstorm. Okay, then we'll move this to Go Rhyhorn, go Rhyhorn, it's your birthday, it's your birthday, go Graveler, go Graveler, it's your birthday, it's your birthday, go Kulava, go Kulava, let's fight a Burmy. Flame Wheel, go! Vivi Cho. Come on, buddy, you can make it. Or not. How do I get up there? Cool lava, go! Actually, let's get out of here. A startled Geodude left out of you. You was bulldozed. Good job. I think I go this way. Go, Ghastly. Good job. Yay! Additional leak, yeah. Alright, Grabber, let's show this bug who's boss. <laughs> Hit him with a rock slide. Ah, uh, you avoided the attack. Good job, Grabber. Now, show him who's boss with a rock slide. And oh, my cool lava can evolve. I keep hitting the wrong button. All right, finally, you're on to your final form. Oh, what the heck? He's a freaking stoner. Oh my gosh. Why does he look like that? He's Fire Ghost? That's pretty cool. Typhlosion. Let's show him who's boss. Oh my gosh, you're beautiful. You're beautiful! Now use Flame Wheel. Oh my gosh, buddy, I love you. Look how they didn't massacre my boy. Ooh, Flamethrower.
And he has Hex now, too. Nice job. Alright, Typhlosion. Teach this Mothin, who's awesome. Now use Flamethrower. Okay, I didn't. I didn't set the move. Use Flame Wheel! 666 experience, oh no. It's a bad omen. Shout out to omen. I'm happy with this move set. One, two, and poof. I like how they made that move changing like really easy. Ha, ah, got him. I like these feather balls. Who's that guy? I just wanted to be helpful. Oh, aren't you the Survey Corps member who called the Lady of the Ridge? Well, listen to this. A couple of apoms stole my pack full of goods. They've been darting around, leading me on a chase, almost like they're testing me. I haven't gotten a hope of catching them. Well, you're in luck, buddy. You must be de used to dealing with Apom. Can you get my pack back from those Pokemon? Keep an eye out for Apom. Chase down the Apom. Oh my gosh. No! You can't do this. They're just going to keep running, aren't they? Did you sneak up on them? Every time I'm about to get attacked and they're just like, oh, you're okay. I don't know, I'm gonna have to battle them and like every Pokemon around here. Titty Ursa, uh, that's not what I want. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I got something for ya. I got something for ya. Use bulldoze. Swift. <laughs> Not very... That did a lot of damage for not being very effective. Also, why are they KOing me? Alright, Typhlosion, it's your turn. Use Flamethrower on that one. No! Good job, Typhlosion. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get killed by a, a poem. 
Oh, never mind. Never mind. That did so much damage. Typhlosion, no! Oh my gosh. Buddy. I'm sorry, Ghastly, but you're gonna be taking a hit here. It doesn't affect me. I'm gonna use Venom Shock. Dang, let's go, Ghastly. Oh, and now I can evolve into Haunter. Well, well, I see you chase down the Apom. My goods are all safe, thank goodness. How can I repay you? Let me think. Hey, what's gotten into you, looking so meek all of a sudden? Are you actually feeling remorseful? Apom, Apom. Oh, all right, all right, no hard feelings. Just stop it with the sad look. You're making me feel bad. I just hope you've learned your lesson. No more pranks, please. Oh, come on. You couldn't even wait till I was done scolding you? Hey, Palm. Hey, Palm. They took my pineapple berries. I was saving those for later. Just goes to show you can't let your guard down around Pokemon. Yeah, we got an experience candy. They went to your freaking bag. Okay, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get out of here. Let my people go. Go, Baneri. Go, Baneri. All right, let's evolve the ghastly. Alright, I better use some healing. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Heal up, buddy. Typhlosion. <laughs> you know what to do, bud. Use flamethrower. Get wrecked. That's what I like to see. Wanna go? Let's go. He broke out of the ball, but it's okay. Cause I have flamethrower. Love that move. Let's get the heck out of here. There's a volcano, huh?
Oh, they have the Hisuian, Growlithe, and Arcanine. That's cute. Growawa! Hush now, settle down. I'm Paulina of the Pearl Clan, and who might you be? Ah, uh, so you're that child from the Galaxy Team. I heard how you aided Cleaver and Lilligan when another could quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. So, what brings you to the Cobalt Coastlands? We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. If you were to guess, which of these growlis would you say is the previous lord's child? The big one. That's what everyone says at first, but no. This quiet, skittish Gareth is the child of this previous lord. Wow, wow, wow. I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. There are those who expect me to train him more strictly and force lordship upon him before he is ready, but I can never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, his mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. So, now that you're out of- you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? I'm here to help the air. Ah, did Arita ask you to intervene, perhaps? I appreciate the kind gesture, truly, but I'm afraid this matter simply doesn't concern you. So, now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? A survey of the Fire Spit Island? I see. There are rumors that place is haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as Basco Legion if you hope to cross the, s the sea. You should speak to Iskan, Warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. There's definitely something strange happening out on that Fire Spit Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course, but then there's also the odd lightning that came from the rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry that we may have offended Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan were locked into conflict over which side the revered... the revered... Oh my god. Over which side revered the true Almighty Sinnoh. Even if we've reached an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered. There are still those who worship a false image of it. Ah, uh, but I digress. I do apologize. Iskin lives on Ape Bomb Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. Wow. Find the home of Iskin. Oh, wow, we're an hour in already. Well, I am gonna go to the map. Can I go here? Oh. I want to... Okay, I'm gonna catch a Snorlax or something. I don't know. I wanna catch that Snorlax. So I'm gonna take a little diversion. I also wanna catch an Abra. I'm gonna take a little break from the main quest and go... Here. Um, yeah. Can I not travel there? Wow, oh boy. I have to freaking go all the way over here. Alright, guys, I'm gonna actually end the episode here. So thank you so much for watching. Let me just save my game really quick. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I did do two episodes in one day today. I, I recorded both uh, episode six and seven today. So that's why I'm taking a break. Um, and then I'm going to try to find somebody to do some trade evolutions with me. 
Um, I did try to stream earlier. Uh, sorry, it didn't work. But yeah. I'm going to try to figure it out here soon. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. And we'll see you next time. All right. Peace.